Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the $1,000 fantasy cart at Sephora tag that Emily Noel started. So if you are interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. I have my laptop here. I was going through the Sephora site earlier and trying to decide what would be in my cart and I just went through kind of like the new section it was such a different experience than what I normally do when I'm on any website in that I was just scrolling and I was like "Ooh, that looks nice add to cart that's cool add to cart haven't seen that before add to cart uh, obviously that's not something that I normally do and then just drop a thousand dollars at Sephora but here we are. My total in my cart right now is $9.83. I suppose I could have added something else for the remaining $17, but that also is not taking into consideration tax, which would be quite a bit on almost $1,000. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, I'm going to go through all of the items and just kind of tell you guys why it caught my eye. Um, and if I'm actually planning on buying any of these things. They are in no particular order uh, by literally anything, not by step, category, brand, literally anything. So I'm just gonna go how they're listed in my cart. So the first thing is from Guerlain. It is the Mad Eyes Felt Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And I personally, for my liquid liner on my top, I love a good matte eyeliner. I don't like when it has any type of sheen, shininess at all. I want it to be like as matte as possible. And this liner pen, it looked interesting. The tip looks nice and fine. It's a felt tip. It was like, that looks cool. I would totally buy that. And the packaging is really cute. I'm going to put a little photo of the packaging of everything on the screen so you can see it. It is a $35, which for an eyeliner is like a little outrageous especially because an eyeliner pen like that they don't last forever i feel like that and mascara they dry up they get used it's just something that you're not going to get as much use out of as you would out of some sort of a powder product so 35 dollars for an eyeliner is not something that i would typically buy the next item is from tatcha it is the water cream and this is 68 dollars for 1.7 ounces which <laughs> is an outrageous price for a moisturizer. I've seen this forever. I've heard so many good things about it. It's like everyone who tries it loves it. It's a really nice lightweight moisturizer. I say that like I've tried it. I have not. Um, actually, nothing in my cart is something that I've tried. I don't think. I wanted to do that on purpose. Yeah, I haven't tried anything in my cart. So I wanted to... I could easily fill my cart with a thousand dollars worth of repurchases but i wanted to try things that i haven't not try them pretend put them in my cart like i was going to try them of things that i haven't tried before so um, yeah the water cream would definitely be on my list i just i can't justify that and a part of me doesn't want to get it because i'm too scared i'll love it and then want to rebuy it and i don't need to be wanting 70 dollars moisturizer the packaging of that too though gosh packaging is i am such a sucker for good packaging and the water cream all of tatcha's products the packaging is gorgeous next is a gucci lipstick it's the sheer lipstick in the shade 205 hold your man this is a 42 dollars lipstick which <laughs> is so unnecessary. I do not need a $42 lipstick. Um, I will say that lipstick is something that I'm, if it was going to be something really special or like I was somebody who wore lipstick every single day and that was my go-to shade, I know I would get my use out of it. I would potentially spend that much on a lipstick, but I'm somebody who, I don't wear lipstick every day and I don't, I'm not that person that has like my one go-to shade. So I feel like I've, I don't know if I've ever used an entire lipstick up. I've definitely used a lot of, but I don't know that I've used an entire thing. So why would I spend that much? I would not. Uh, but the packaging is, <laughs> I feel like I'm going to say this on every single product. The packaging is really, really pretty of these. I think they're pretty new. Um, there's quite a few colors and it is a sheer lipstick, which is kind of up my alley. So it looks like something I would want to try, but I'm not going to. Then I have the La Mer Skin Tint. It's the Radiant Skin Tint SPF 30. This is 1.4 ounces and it is 
which is insane. So it does have SPF, which is great, but it is a like sheer coverage situation. It's basically just going to tint your skin. It comes in a few shades. The one I put in my cart was light medium because I figured that's what I would be, but oh my gosh, that's a very expensive SPF tinted moisturizer. It just looks so pretty and it comes in, I think, seven colors. It says a sheer lightweight veil of color that delivers visible radiance and a more even healthy looking tone, which sounds great, but I do have problem areas on my skin, so I know that I would still be using coverage. If I had perfect skin, I feel like this is something I could wear on its own. Even so though, $95 is a lot of money to spend on that. That is, no. <laughs> you can get an SPF and a tinted moisturizer both products for less than that. I think this is a new one. It's from Marc Jacobs. It's a mascara called the At Lashed Lengthening and Curling Mascara. It's $27. And you guys know I am a mascara junkie. I love trying mascaras. I have my favorite one from Hourglass and I just can't seem to find anything that's better than that. But that does not mean that I'm going to stop trying. And this one looks good. The brush looks really promising and it does say that it's lengthening and curling, which is fine with me. So for $27, I feel like that's something I might actually pick up to try. Apparently I'm into these like light coverage expensive situations because the next product is from Drunk Elephant. It is the Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. They are $36 and it says, a serum that defends against pollution and environmental stressors delivered with a bronzy glow like sunshine in a bottle without the damaging effects. I mean, that sounds amazing. Although at first I thought that this had SPF in it. It does not. It's more of just a bronzy situation. Honestly, I still don't really even know what the point is. Like it's not a bronzer. It's not coverage. It's just supposed to give you a nice sun-kissed look, which I am not against. Like that sounds amazing, but for $36, I likely will not try it. Although it has like four and a quarter stars out of a thousand reviews. So I don't know, maybe there's something to it that I'm missing and I should try it. I have a couple items from Charlotte Tilbury. You guys know how much I love her makeup. And the first one is her new bronzer that recently came out. It's the Airbrush Matte Bronzer. It is $55, which is a lot to spend on one single bronzer, especially when I have, I don't know, probably like 20 bronzers in my drawer and definitely don't need another one but this one just looks so pretty and I've heard such amazing things about it that I'm really curious to try it and I think at some point I actually will buy this one. Her powder formulation is just so gorgeous on the skin that sometimes I feel like it is worth the splurge even though her products are really expensive. I think that, I mean, I can't speak for this product because I haven't actually tried it, but I will say that if you find a product from her or from Hourglass, I feel like those are my two like high-end brands that I think their powder products are actually worth it. So if you did like it, I think that could be worth the splurge, especially if it's gonna be like your one and only go-to bronzer. And then the other Charlotte Tilbury product is the Hollywood Contour Wand, and that is $38. You basically, it has a sponge at the top and you kind of squeeze the product into the sponge and then you can kind of place it where you want it. I think that I would probably place it and then blend it out with the sponge. That's my assumption. Again, I haven't used it, um, but $38 for a contour wand. Again, I have so many powders in my collection. I definitely do not need it, and it's not something that I feel like it's a step that I'm missing. It's just one of those products that's so intriguing. I want to say Jessica Braun was talking about it and really loved it. I want to say hers like spilled or something. I don't know. Anyway... It just looks amazing and I just want to try it for the sake of trying it. Another product from Marc Jacobs is the Highliner Gel Eye Crayon Eyeliner in the Limited Gold Edition. I don't know if that's the packaging or what, but this is $26 and the color I chose was Olive View, which I think is a cute name, but it's a really pretty like shimmery olive color, which Products like this, like the gel liners, I think are so pretty if you put them on and then smudge them out. It's kind of like a really effortless look and olive uh, eyeliner is just so flattering. I actually have a couple green eyeliners that there's, those ones are so dark that they actually, you can't tell that they're green. It's not like an, 
really obvious green it's just a subtle green that looks dark it could be brown it could be black it could be anything but it is green and since I have green eyes it really makes my eyes pop so I think that that would be a really nice product to have again I have a couple of green eyeliners I probably have like 15 other colors of eyeliners too that I do not need this one for $26 all right can we talk about the bronze eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona <laughs> it is $65 I definitely, I'm not going to get it. I don't need an, another eyeshadow palette, but holy moly, these colors are just so pretty. This particular palette has 15 shades, and they're all just such nice, pretty, neutral. They have mattes and shimmers, and I just feel like this is one of those palettes that I would actually wear every color in the palette. There are so few palettes like that, and this one, I feel like if you look at it, you might think it looks really boring, but those are just the colors that I personally gravitate to. I'm definitely more of a neutral eyeshadow rather than the colorful look. Um, but again, I don't need this and I do have a ton of neutral eyeshadows that I don't need another one, but I will say her formulation is outstanding. I just saw an error in my ways. I mean, I guess not really, but kind of. So the next item in my cart was from Tarte. It is the Sea Water Foundation with SPF 15. And the one I had in my cart was the mini version, which I didn't realize at first, and that one was $15. The full size is $39. So if I did the $15, I'd still be under the $1,000. If I did the full size, I would be over. But either way, this comes in a ton of different shades, and it has a little dropper formula. It says that it has a natural finish and it's medium coverage. I just think that this could be a really good, healthy-looking, everyday foundation. And I'm curious to try it. I actually might pick it up. I don't think that this is new, but I haven't seen anyone talk about it in a long time. Or maybe it is new and that's why. I'm not sure. But I, I don't think that it is. Yeah, I've just looked at the reviews. It is not new at all. So I just haven't seen anyone talk about this in a long time. And I just saw it on the site and I was like, that actually looks like something that would be up my alley. So... I might try that at some point. Drunk Elephant is a brand that I have been really wanting to try out the products. It's just one of those things that I have a ton of skincare that I'm working through and I don't want to splurge on, I just don't know where to start. I want to try everything from them. So it just feels like I, I can't choose one product. I mean, I guess I just did. Here we go. So the TLC Baby Facial is the 25% AHA plus 2% BHA mask. It is $80 and that is the product that I put in my cart. I don't I don't know. I mean, I went through quickly just kind of like their the page of all of the Drunk Elephant products and that's the one that stuck out to me the most. I feel like I've heard a ton of stuff about it and that's one that people have said that they've seen actual results with so i am curious about it i don't know that i will try it anytime soon because i am working through some skincare and it would be wasteful for me to just buy stuff that i don't need but drunk elephant is definitely on my radar of a brand that i want to try a bunch of stuff from let me know if you have any products from drunk elephant that you absolutely love because I'm very curious about them. Next is from Fresh. This is the Rose Petal Soft Deep Hydration Lip Balm. It is $24. I love Fresh and I love their Rose Deep Hydration line in general. I love the Rose Cream. I use that at night a lot. And this one, the lip balm, it just sounds good. I I just really love Fresh and their formulations of everything, so I feel like this would be something that's really up my alley. It does come in a pot, so I think it's one of those things that you would use at night. I think that when I'm done with my current nighttime lip balm, I actually just started one a couple of weeks ago, so I've got a while, but I think I might try it. Maybe next time a Sephora sale comes around, I will pick it up. Then I have the $55 Bronze Face Glow Palette from Natasha Denona. This is a little quad, and I have sworn to myself time and time again that I will not buy any more face palettes because I just don't use them. I, I feel like to have all of the products in that palette actually work for you rarely happens, and so I'd rather buy individual products that I buy the exact shade or color that I want instead of being stuck with whatever they've already placed in the palette. But gosh, this one looks so pretty. And look, if money is not a factor in any of this, I would totally buy it. Then I have the cream eyeshadow color from Tom Ford. This is a $46 for a pot cream eyeshadow. The color that I chose was Opal. 
Am I saying that wrong? I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Anyway, it looks like the most gorgeous like champagne rose color. And if I was going to buy a product like this, I would definitely buy the color that I would get the most use out of. I just, $46 for one color is just not something that's going to happen, especially because I do have a couple of other cream eyeshadows that I definitely don't need that one. The next thing in my cart is from GHD, which is a brand I haven't tried before. It stands for Good Hair Day. They have the Curve 1 Inch Classic Curling Iron and it is $199. I don't need it because I have a curling iron that I really like for the my T3 while well, these are like third day curls but they looked better when they were second and first day curls anyway um, I've been wanting to try a curling iron with a clip on it just to curl my hair in a different way but this one is $200 and it's <laughs> Not something I necessarily need to spend my money on and actually at Costco sells this brand but the actual product that they have switches out sometimes so if they do end up having a one inch curling wand or curling iron from this brand I might pick it up from there I likely would not pick it up from Sephora just because it's always gonna be full price unless you wait for the sale so either way this looks really promising and I'm very curious about it. I think that this same brand has um, one of the ones that are extra long. So if you have longer hair, you can curl more of it at once. So that is really intriguing to me too. And then I actually have three dry bar products. I think just because it was one of those things that they're not that expensive, but they're expensive for a bottle of a hair product and when money doesn't matter, you just add it to the cart. The first one is the Moneymaker Flexible Hold Hairspray. It's $26. And I just love the way the dry bar products smell. I have not smelled this, I don't think, but I'm sure that it smells delicious and I would totally buy it. I actually can see myself buying this just because I don't use hairspray all the time. So I think this is one of those products that would last me for a while. Next is the Dry Bar Sparkling Soda Shine Mist. It's $28. This is something that I am not going to buy, but I mean, I don't need my hair to shine for $28. When you say it that way, it seems like not that much money to make your hair look shiny, but I don't feel like my hair is super dull or maybe it is and I don't care. I don't know. Either way, that's something that I can see when I'm like really going all out and getting ready. I could maybe want to use, but I would not spend the $28 on it. And then the last product is $23. It's also from Dry Bar and it is the Detox Clear Invisible Dry Shampoo. This dry shampoo is supposed to be invisible, which I love the Detox Dry Shampoo from there, but it does have a white cast on it. So I would be interested to try out the invisible version. And I actually buy the Detox Dry Shampoo on like a semi-regular basis. I have a bottle right now. I don't use it every day really ever, but um, I've been really hooked on the Billy Dry Shampoo, but I'm out of that one right now. I'm waiting for my new shipment, so I've been using the Dry Bar one, and I remember how much I love it. So I can see myself buying the clear one just to see if the white cast doesn't exist with it if it still works just as well and using that in rotation as well all right guys just like that a thousand dollars is like poof gone into thin air so those are definitely purchases that most of them i will not be making i may purchase a couple of them let me know down below what you would buy like what's the big ticket item that you would buy if money was not a factor i'd be curious to see what you guys choose so anyway that is everything for this video i hope that you guys enjoy it give this video a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching bye guys